My name is John Vincent Void and I'm an artist located in London, England in Athens, Greece. The Dogstar concept began as my attempt to create uh, tarot cards for the metaverse and for the internet space. But as I wasn't happy with the result, I thought I would do something else with it and uh, I was quite fond of the visual language. So this space age fairy tale that I wrote emerged where it's about this visitor from the dog star who came to Earth in the late 70s to catch a Ramones concert in New York and CBGB's. He had a lot of fun, but uh, he got stranded on Earth. And as the years went by, the postcards that he was sending back to his friends, the intergalactic postcards, uh, transitioned from um, enthusiasm and joy to melancholy and nostalgia and a bit of a desperate bid to return home, back to his own home planet. I think that this series deals with uh, universal themes and universal emotions such as homecoming, such as the need for identity, such as the longing for people around you that uh, shower you with love and make you feel safe. And I think that everybody can relate to that and you don't have to be from another galaxy to experience such, a, such an emotion. Yeah. Well, I think that uh, in our current time, everybody is looking to escape from it and go somewhere else, even though they don't know where they want to go, just somewhere else, other, anywhere but here, as they say. And I think that uh, the whole theme of going to another galaxy and uh, meeting with your friends through great distance or through great time change and through like another era maybe, I think that's something that most people can connect with. Um, identity is, in this particular series, it's a, it's, a, it's a concept where somebody who's been somewhere for too long has lost themselves, doesn't know who they are anymore and maybe are trying to rediscover who they actually are but also maybe create a new identity for themselves and become who they were always meant to be. And alienation is basically an emotion that I think most of us feel from time to time where we feel that we don't quite belong where we are and we're looking to be where we feel most comfortable. Homecoming is the, the light at the end of the tunnel for everybody, I think. And maybe the home is metaphorical, maybe the home is actual. But the sure thing is that you can definitely find a new home for yourself. But the home you're looking for, if it's in the past, it doesn't exist anymore. Futurism is a concept that's existed for maybe a couple of centuries and there are two schools of uh, futurism there's the utopian and the dystopian the dystopian futurism deals with uh, apocalyptic uh, scenarios where everything has been annihilated and people are left to scramble for survival and i don't think that survival has much meaning when you're dealing with a dystopian future history has a tendency to show us that throughout uh, all our troubles as a species no matter how difficult times have been Going through those troubles, we've always come to a better place. So I think the future is inherently utopian, otherwise we wouldn't be here anymore. So I believe in projecting the, you know, the symbolism and the iconography of inspiring people towards a, a better future. This particular series of works has been my first foray into the digital landscape and uh, the metaverse. But uh, as I've grown into traditional route of uh, art, and it's my preferred actually mode of creation, I wanted to have representation in both the metaverse and the physical 3D universe that we all occupy and uh, have that intersection and that interaction between the pieces where you can experience them in a completely brand new virtual landscape where I think the future is headed anyway. But you can also take them from that environment and bring them right into our reality and experience them with your physical senses as well. And I think that's a very interesting experience for somebody to have something that they can experience and enjoy in any universe available to them.